Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now I was pointed out in one of the comments on my video about aileron differential using global variables that there are other ways of doing this. So I wanted to show you this method, which is where you just go and adjust the curve in each of the mixes. So you don't have to put an extra line in. So let's take a look at it. We're gonna switch over to Companion and I'll show you how to set this up. Now I've opened a model up where we set up aileron differential using global variables and you can see the global variable there. But now what we can do is we go to mixes, we're gonna delete the differential lines Okay, now if we go into the first aileron and we make sure the curve is on diff, we can now put 60% in there and go, okay, go into the second aileron channel and do the same. This will be minus 60. Okay, okay. and if we simulate, we should see the same effect as you can see. Now you'd have to watch the senses, in other words, whether it's a plus or minus, uh, but there you can go. You can quickly put aileron differential in, but the only thing with this is you have not got now a global variable where you can go and change one figure and it will change both of the aileron servos. So you can do it this way for sure, if you know what your, the exact figure you want to use. But I would say if you're going to experiment, I would use the global variable method so that you can quickly at the field go and adjust the global variable and then refly your plane and see how things work out. Now we can add to this another method. If we want our global variables, all we actually need to do is go to the mix and over here, click the box global variable and pick the global variable you want. So this would be global variable with a positive figure. Then we go to our second aileron and we click and this time we're going to pick the minus GV. And we will end up with the same result as we did with having the two lines. So let's simulate the radio and we should have the same effect. There we go. Now you can see we're only getting 40% of full throw. If we go to our global variable and we change that now to 80 and we go back to let's go to mixes and just simulate again. And there we go. So now you can see we've changed our amount of aileron differential. So that would be a good way to do it if you want to have the global variable still operational. And there we go. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.